Pivot table is a powerful tool to calculate, summarize, and analyze data that lets you see comparisons, patterns, and trends in your data. Pivot table works a little bit different depending upon what platform you're using to run Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. In today's session, we are going to see how to create a pivot table. But hold on, we all know how to create a pivot table. But here we are going to use amazing magical trick of pivot table, which will help you to save your tons of time in creating a multiple sheets of multiple pivot tables. What I mean, let's try to understand the data before we go ahead of creating any pivot chart or pivot table, or when you want to create any insights from your raw data. So we have order ID here, order date, ship mode, customer ID, and we have customer name, city, region, subcategory, sales, and so forth. And uh, this is basically superstore sales information from which you wanted to create a pivot table. Just imagine your boss has asked you to create a pivot table. It's quite easy, but he wanted me to create city-wise pivot tables. That is 500 cities right now. We can see in the city column. At the same time, we also wants to show the region wise, we also wanted to show in the sales value, right? So when you want to create a pivot, we all know there is a shortcut key, Alt N B T. Quickly, it will ask you one question. Do you want to create in a new worksheet or existing one? So let me go for a new sheet altogether. Now, what basically I want to create, uh, what on based on what parameters? I want the city to be on the top filter because 500 cities. Then I want a region. Region, let's try to take in the rows, right? Then we have something called sales value, which is showing up in the sales. Now, we also require a ship mode to be shown in the column section. All right. Now, make sure before you actually create a copies of these uh, pivot tables by using the magical trick now, you try to do all the cosmetic changes which you want to do, all the formattings which you want to do. Let me put some comma separator. Also, I want to put some design here. Let me go for some beautiful design here. Let me select. Let me select something like this. All right. Now, my design part is over. If you want to create a pivot chart also, we can create, which will help you to, which will keep forwarding to that other sheets as well. So now you can see there are multiple sheet, uh, multiple cities, right from A to Y. And now I want to create. Now let me make it as a master pivot so that we can remember. Now this is my super stored raw data. Now based on my boss request, what I want to do is first I want to set the first country that is Akron. I want to select the data, copy it. If I am trying to do manually, guys, if I'm trying to do manually, I need to copy the city name, paste as a tab name, then do the formattings, all right? Now, go for the second pivot table that is next to city. Now, I want to copy this, go to the third sheet and paste it. And also take the city name as a, as a sheet name. Just imagine if you want to create this way 500 sheets, we can create it, it will take a lot of time. But what if I say this same job can be done in a few seconds by using this amazing magical pivot trick. Let's try to see. Before that, let me delete everything. That is two additional times which I created manually, which is not up to the mark. And there are 100% chances where you can do mistakes as well because 500 cities, right? So I'll go to the master pivot again. I'll try to see if I have all the required information Yes, and all the cosmetic changes, what you require, that is a comma separator, if you want a decimals, do all the formattings as per your business requirement, as per your work. And once you're ready, you select any portion of your pivot table, go to pivot table designer, okay, that is pivot table analyzer, rather. Now, the magic trick comes here, that is sitting right here in the, the pivot table analyzer under that pivot table. The moment I click on this option with a few clicks, we are going to create. But before that, if I want to do the same job, either I need to know the Microsoft Power Query, which is much powerful, or I need to use 
VBA, that is Visual Basic Programming, that is writing a macros. Macros are nothing but set of instructions which you write to the computer in order to make your work done. So both works without any problem. But what if, if I don't know Power Query, where I need to do a lot of steps? What if, if I don't know programming, where I'm not a coder? Basically, I'm not a technical guy, but I want to achieve this task without writing a formula, without writing any code. Just with few button clicks, I want to do my boss requirement. All right. Now, what you do is select the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyzer and click on pivot table and click on don't click on options. It will show up a different dialog box. Now, what you do is very important. I repeat, click on the pivot table. Don't click on the options. Click on the drop down menu here. There comes a hidden feature what we have in the pivot table that is show report filter pages. Once you click on show report filter pages, it is showing me only one particular column out of so many columns in my raw data. Just imagine there are hundreds of columns in your raw data, but here it is showing only city. The reason being, if you look at the, the pivot table, the way you have created, the city column you have put in filters area, right? Filters area. So whatever you create, any column in the filter area that will show up in the filter pan. So let me go again to the filter analyzer and click on pivot table, click on options, then click on show report filter pages. The moment I click, the moment I click, you are going to see an amazing feature of pivot table. All right, once I click on it, there are 500 sheets which are going to be created uh, less than less than a minute or in a few seconds, just two clicks. I clicked on pivot table and clicked on the show report filter pages. Now, once I click that, you'll see all the sheets will be created without any issue. Now you can see it is doing working much faster than your Power Query or much faster than your VB coding where I need to spend a lot of time in order to write the row section, column section, pivot table options. We need to write a lot of sections in the VBA programming in order to achieve this. Of course, we can do with the VBA, as I said. We can also use the Power Query less than a minute, less than a minute. We are going to create a pivot tables of multiple shares with a proper naming convention because I don't know what are the city names in this. There are 500 city names of United States. So without even reading the city names, I could be able to create now, not copying, not pasting, not clicking anywhere, just clicking on an option and show filter pages. Now you can see it is keep running, keep running. There are 500 sheets it is going to create. So it's going to take a time, less than a minute. We are going to see all this pivot table going to be created. Now you can see amazing Akron is created. Okay, there are different sheets which are created here without taking any time, just less than a minute. It could able to create all the sheets. You can also see at the top, Okay, we can also see at the top the city name and corresponding the city, city name tab. All right, we have city name and city concern pivot table. Right, so hope you like this. This is an amazing trick what is available in the pivot table. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.